Hey guys, it's HodgePodge here, and today we are going to be doing a review of the Safari 2020 Concavenator figure. I've also heard it pronounced Concavenator as well as Concavenator, but I'll just stick with Concavenator for now just because that's what I'm used to seeing. It was a Carcharodontosaurid theropod dinosaur from the early Cretaceous of Spain, specifically from the La Huagina formation. I'm probably terribly mispronouncing that. And it was very well known for its really distinct hump over its hips, or just in front of its hips. And yeah, this was from uh, around 130 million years ago from Spain, and it's one of the smallest carcharodontosaurs ever found, and also one of the most unusual. So what struck me at first was how tiny this model is. Uh, but the detail that's been packed into it is really impressive. And honestly, I think this is a really underrated figure, in my opinion. I like this a lot more than I think most people do. So starting off with the head, and we have got a perfect head sculpt on this model. The, it's got a really sinister looking red eye, but that's really cool. I like how we've got closed mouth with lips. Uh, we've got the two crests on the top, which are accurate to the skull. And we've got uh, the serangular bone here, which is the uh, the rear part of um, the mandible, the lower jaw. Uh, it's got quite it's quite deep here at the back. So that's really nice. Uh, the overall color is this kind of um, really warm brown, almost like an orange kind of color. And then it's interspersed with this um, really dark brown, if not black, on uh, the top of the head. And then the crests are in a really striking red. I really like that. I honestly really like the colours on this model. And speaking of the colours, all the way down the back we've got these really cool looking uh, striking white stripes. And I, I really like that. I think it looks very cool. And then uh, on the torso here, we can see it's got almost like a yellow kind of uh, right in the center of the chest. And as we go down to the forelimbs, now the forelimbs are an interesting point of contention for Concavenator, as uh, it was, the forelimbs were discovered to have these strange holes on them. It was suggested that they may have been quill knobs, as in uh, where the feathers would have been rooted to. However, it's since been um, kind of contended in a sense that they might actually just be for muscle attachments rather than quill knobs, so Safari's opted to not portray them with feathers, which is understandable. I think they played it safe and smart by doing that. Uh, the forelimbs themselves, they look really good proportionally, they've got the right number of fingers, and they've even got tiny little sculpted scales on the individual digits, which is really nice. Now the legs are a little strange, the legs are really well proportioned, but the feet are so weird, especially on mine. As you can see, the toes are really oddly splayed out. And the toe claw on the middle uh, right foot on mine is curving upwards. As odd as it looks, my model does actually stand pretty much perfectly. And then this foot is kind of the same, the feet, uh, the toes rather, are very weirdly splayed out but they do the job. I have to hand it to Safari. They they made this figure really stable. Now coming to the characteristic hump of Concavenator, they've gone for the uh, simple triangular hump reconstruction, though I have seen others where they will essentially connect the tips of um, the elongated vertebrae just in front of the hips to uh, the also raised vertebrae at the beginning of the tail. As you can see here, this bit's raised up as well. Uh, the Carnegie Concavenator also has that reconstruction. So it's cool that we have two different versions of the same animal. And you can see that the stripes continue down, uh, mostly down the most of the tail's length, and then it's all brown at the base. And uh, on the underside, we have a fairly prevalent, quite a large uh, cloaca slit, which is nice that they included that. And overall, the, the accuracy on this model is just it's honestly superb. The proportions on this model are pretty much perfect. The accuracy, as far as I can tell, is flawless. It's pretty much superb. And yet people just 
don't seem to care much for this model, which is a shame. I'm a huge fan of it. I really like it personally. And it's not every day we get concavenated models. So I thought a fitting comparison would be with the collector Mantellisaurus, as these two animals did live together and they scale really nicely. I think they are the same scale. I'm not sure what they are uh, off the top of my head. You could have uh, the Mantellisaurus drinking and then you could have it being silently stalked by the uh, concavenator over here. It's a really, really cool that they scale up so nicely. So overall, I think the Safari Concavenator is a highly, highly underrated model and I recommend picking it up because I, I personally think it looks a lot nicer in hand as well. So thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys next time. Bye bye now.